So we have uh, Veronica Stardub from the American University in Bulgaria. And uh, she's going to talk about triangle conics and cubics. So Veronica, please. Hello, thank you very much for organizing this conference. And uh, I would like you to present an uh, uh, article on triangle conics and cubics. So you can, you may know a lot of triangle cubics and conics, such as Thomson cubic, Yerberg hyperbole, the Durbois cubic, and so on. So there are a lot of triangle cubics which pass through some interesting triangle centers. Um, and uh, it is widely used in cryptography. And lately, um, Professor Weilberger and uh, Count Lynn Perry, they were discussing this topic. Uh, so, the main goals of my work were to study curves connected to a triangle and obtain the algorithm of how to create this new triangle of conics and cubics. Uh, and then derive results uh, with applying this technique and research obtained cubics and conics and their properties. So the whole idea of the developed algorithm of creating this triangle cubics and conics, it is purely classical geometry. So you can notice that some triangle centers and some cube and some triangles they coincide with other triangle centers in already other triangles. So as you can see on the picture, we have a base triangle ABC and eccentric triangle where vertices are in centers of X circles, I1, I2, I3. And it's interesting fact, and it's well known fact that in center of the base triangle, it's ortho center in a triangle eccentric one. Uh, and it is easily proved, just to prove that uh, this two angles, they end up as half of 180 degrees, so just 90 degrees, and that's it. So this planimetry that is easy in high school. Uh, and in the same way, we can drive uh, a lot of coincidence in triangle centers, uh, in base triangle and eccentric triangle. So as I mentioned already, that in center is outer center, in the same way, circumcenter is other circle, the one's point. The one point is a point uh, of uh, intersection of lines which go through centers of X circles and points of their tangents to uh, size of ABC. Uh, so the one's point in a base triangle is circumcenter of eccentric triangle Mittenpunkt uh, is another triangle center is Lemoine point or point of intersection of C-medians and so on and so forth. So there are some uh, triangle centers in the base triangles that coincide with triangle centers in eccentric triangle. Some of these properties were approved before, some of them were approved by myself. Uh, for example, a speaker point is the same as Taylor point in a uh, central triangle. Uh, but it is just uh, interesting facts about the geometry of triangle. How we can apply it to, to some already known triangle cubics and conics, uh, so we can get a new one. So for example, we can consider Yerbeck hyperbole for eccentric triangle. Uh, and um, Yerbeck hyperbole is such hyperbole which passes through vertices of a triangle, ABC, as you can see here, circumcenter, lemmine point, uh, orchard center, and is agonally conjugated to the Delon Chams point. Delon Chams point is just um, a mirrored uh, circumcenter with respect to orchard center. Uh, so it is well known your Becker Pelboli. However, if we look on it uh, and on points on this hyperbola with respect to the base triangle, not with respect to the eccentric triangle, then we can notice that this hyperbola passes through uh, now vertices are ABC, but the previous ABC, the vertices of the previous triangle, are right now centers of X circles. Then we can say that, well, um, circumcenter of X circle, X central triangle is the one's point in the base triangle in ABC. Uh, then we can say, okay, C median point in X central triangle is median point in a base triangle. So we use just this coincidence and just make um, 
this transfer of one point to another. So then we say that is there another conjugated point or Delon-Charles point or Delon-Charles point in a base triangle, not in an eccentric triangle? In, and in this way, we obtain a new hyperbole, which passes through uh, eccentrals, the Vance point, Mitterrand point in center, and Delon-Charles point. And it was not proved before, and it's pretty nice result. However, we can use this uh, technique for different already known uh, curves in triangle and to different triangles. So um, according uh, to the coincidence in an external triangle, um, we may make some conclusions about Thompson cubic as well. So we may consider Thompson cubic um, with respect to the base triangle. So Thompson cubic is such cubic that passes through vertices of a triangle, through eccenters, through middles of the side of triangle, M1, M2, and M3, as you can see in the picture, and plenty of triangle centers. Actually, this cubic is called sometimes a cubic of 17 points because it passes through a lot of triangle centers, such as circumcenter, meter point, uh, centroid and center, median point or lemoin point, uh, and is another conjugated point to the median point with respect to eccentral triangle. And now we can do the same thing as previously. We can just use this coincident of points and just name other points uh, with other definitions because they're different points for uh, eccentral triangles. So, uh, now we put vertices in a vertices of a central triangle. So now we have A, B, C here. Then we say, well, then uh, vertices of the initial triangle, A, B, C, they will be uh, basis of the altitudes in triangle I1, I2, I3. So it is through the same way that we say that here is 90 degrees. So uh, A, H1 is just altitude. Uh, and in the same way, from this table of coincidence, we say, well, uh, circumcenter in a base triangle is Euler center, so a center of the Euler circle in an eccentric triangle. Um, Mitchell point is memory point in eccentric triangle. Uh, then in center in the base triangle is orthocenter center in eccentric triangle. And uh, is another conjugated point to the Mitten point is geometric gem center of the Arctic and tangent triangles. Uh, so we got new cubic, not only conics, we can got cubics and in the same way and uh, our conclusions are very easily derived just from this idea of coincident points. And we can get a lot of more results. So for example, we can use the walk cubic for that. Uh, for the base triangle. So the work cubic is such cubic that passes through vertices, through uh, X, uh, centers of X circles, through orto center, in center, circumcenter, and balance point. And then we again use the same idea of coincident points and we just name, uh, we say that now we can consider this as a cubic for eccentric triangles and uh, vertices of initial triangle will be basis of altitudes, and then in center is altitude center, elder point, circumcenter is elder point, and uh, Bevan's point is circumcenter. So in this way, we can obtain new cubics. It was not discovered before, and that's pretty interesting results, and again, it's very beautiful how we can easily do that. Uh, and as I mentioned before, we can use this technique to different various triangles. So we can uh, consider as base or complementary triangle as medial triangle, for example. So medial triangles is one that have its vertices and um, on sides of the initial triangle. So we can use if hyperbole. Um, and it is just such hyperbole as it passes through um, through centroids, through circums, its locus is on circumcenter and passes through uh, orthocenter as well. Uh, and then we applied, we consider it for medial triangle and we got new points on this hyperbole and we get actually new hyperbole. So we have, it passes through 
art center in Devashaw's point, and its center is in Circum Center and its locus is in uh, centroid, as you can see on the picture. So again, we can obtain UQ conic and so on. But we can consider turbocubic to get some new cubic uh, with respect to medial triangle. So uh, for medial triangle, if you consider medial triangle as initial one, then turbocubic will be again the one that passes through vertices, through order center, in center, circum center, and the chumps point. And moreover, uh, it passes through antipodes, so like geometrically opposite points of the vertices. And again, we can apply the same idea. So name in another way our points while we are thinking about these points as points in A, B, C in initial triangle. So we got that, that we obtain a cubic that passes through, um, first of all, middle soft sides, uh, then uh, orchard center, Eller point, speaker point, circum center, and also complementary conjugate of the orchard center. Uh, because they have some other, some their own correspondences in medial triangle. Um, and again, like for all this proof, we were using this table of coincidence, but already for medial triangle. So again, some of these facts were proved before, some of them now. So we can do this and we easily obtain new cubics and new conics. And in addition, we can apply this to Lucas cubic, which is another famous cubic in geometry of a triangle. And it passes through vertices, through Orchid center, jargon point, media um, centroid, nagel point, uh, lemon point for the anti complementary triangle, and the Lanchamps point. As we can consider first, as, uh, it is as a cubic for the medial triangle, and then we apply this coincidence table, and we get a totally different cubic which passes through vertices of a triangle, through its middle of its sides, through orchid centers, the median point or memory point, in center, um, centroid, midpoint, point, and circumcenter, because we have this coincidence, as you understood already, I hope. Uh, and in the same year, we can use this um, technique for various triangles, as I mentioned before. So you can take, for example, Euler triangles. There are a lot of other triangles. And then find some correspondence in Euler triangle and base triangle as well. So you may think about in-center as midpoint of in-center and on center in Euler triangle. So Euler triangle is one I have to mention. Euler triangle is one that has its vertices on points where a circle intersects altitudes of a triangle. Uh, so again, we can build some correspondence between some points in Euler triangle and base triangle. And again, use this fact, for example, for their block cubic for Euler triangle. Uh, so as you can see on the picture, this one is Euler triangle, A, B, C. We consider it first as initial one. And their block cubic has we were mentioning before, it's just a cubic that passes through the Longchamps point, circumcenter, in center, ultra center, and moreover through vertices of a triangle and its antipodes, so geometrically opposite of them. And now again, we remember that we had some correspondence in Euler triangle, so we can do that again for Darbois cubic in Euler triangle and name other different points in other way while considering them as points in A, B, C, like initial triangle, this one that is shown in blue. Uh, so then we, we can get like very significant results. Uh, we get a new cubic that passes uh, through, uh, first of all, it passes through vertices of Euler triangle. Moreover, it passes through its centers uh, middles, I mean, middles of sides of this triangle, as you can see, M1, M2, M3, because like the intersection of Euler soccer with sides is just exactly uh, middles of its side. Uh, then, uh, Delon Chunk's point is already 
circumcenter in the initial ABC triangle. Uh, we have Euler point as well, uh, which is Euler point for ABC. Uh, then we have middle of in center and orthocenter center here and orthocenter center that lies on this cubic and so on. So you can find some other points that lie on this cubic, however, they're not so significant. Uh, however, they are some Klimberg center, like starting from 100, something like that. They all are on this cubic, but it's not very interesting to discover them. Uh, so, and the very last result that I got, but it's not least, again, I mentioned that it's just an algorithm which you can uh, apply for various of triangles and various of already known cubics. I mean. So, yes, 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 I'm already finishing. Thank you. Uh, so, in the same way, we can take mid-arc triangle, the one that has its middles in uh, middles of arcs in triangle, so as you can see in the picture. And again, we can build some coincident points, some coincidence, find some matchings in points. And then we can um, consider Jarbeck hyperbola, and it passes through circumcenter, cosmeta point, Lamoine point, and ortho center. And then we say, well, but for initial triangle, it's just circumcenter, speaker point, and middle of the segment M uh, I, me I, whereas me is meter point, and I is in center. And also through in center. Uh, but moreover, it passes through middles of arcs. So we got new conic. It's, and um, the most interesting thing is that uh, because we didn't change at all our initial cubics, we just named them differently and we applied them for different um, triangles, we can get um, just, we can just take um, some properties of initial cubics, like famous one and known already, and um, the new cubic will inherit these properties. Of course, they will be a little bit changed. However, the main properties will keep the same. So in the same, like, and it's easy to derive an explicit formula to this cubic. I didn't do that because I don't think that it is it should be considered and it's very interesting, more interesting that we have such cubics. However, it's very easy to, to, to study them explicitly and describe them in formulas, find some other properties and uh, just inherit it from the father cubic, the main that were taken for creation of new ones. So in conclusions, we derive, we derive an algorithm of triangle curves and it was shown that it really helps and we can apply it for various triangles and various cubics and conics, various curves. And uh, one can do that for anything it, she or he would like to. And uh, while applying this algorithm, just me, I uh, discovered five uh, new cubics for conics and moreover, it can be used to, to find some new triangle lines, like Euler line, which passes through some interesting triangle centers, but new ones. And results are very significant because I think that um, studying of lines is not pretty interesting. So I decided to not mention this fact, but when you apply the same idea of coincident points to triangle lines, like you get a lot of results, like 15 of new lines that I found just. So, uh, the results that gives this algorithm are very significant, very interesting, and moreover, because of this heritage, uh, um, inheritance of uh, some properties from the domain cubic, we can explore them and uh, use further. And um, part of my interest in right now is to discover uh, something about cubics more, not in a just Euclidean geometry by use it over finite fields and uh, maybe go to projective geometry and explore all these properties there. So thank you for attention and I would, I would like to hear some questions if you have such.